Cold Springs Tavern. You're killing me. Old stagecoach route. Let's get this show on the road. We booked flights to. Painter Lance. Chili. Looks a little raw right now. Taco time, baby. What's up, guys, and welcome back to the vlog. Juan and I are over here hanging out in the workshop. Well, let's go see what Juan's up to right now. What we got going? Wait, wait a second, wait a second. You put the new shifter tip on, but you didn't even get me the chrome? No, I need that for photos, bro. Damn. You get that one later. Damn, I see how it is. You get the prototype one. All right, so we're testing a new shifter tip that Juan's throwing on. I'm gonna ride the bagger today. What are you riding? the Dyna, brother. The Dyna? That's right, homie. Well, you were just complaining that your fender's about to fall off. Cracks in it. Right before we left the Sturgis two years ago, yeah. it was cracked and I was scared it wasn't gonna make it. So I did like a quick little repair, grinded it down, welded it, and then I added this little thing so I wouldn't allow it to flex. Uh -huh. And it worked. Yep, you could see two it. Two years later. You could see the, the light showing through. Two Sturgis and back and then two years. But then I don't know if it was like the wheelies, like I was slamming it down and stuff, but look, you can see now the crack has grown. She's, uh, look right there. Nice. So, I need a new fender. I think you deserve a proper long fender so you can actually try to scrape fender. I was gonna see, I, I've gotten it up a little bit high. I was gonna ask you, I was gonna pull up some photos. What did that have been at scrape? At what angle is it? I think, I think like an inch away from, from scraping. Full fendi. But a long, full a, fendi. a long time ago, I did this for a buddy. He was stuck. He had a T Sport. And this kid could wheelie down the whole street smooth, but he just couldn't get to the scraping point. And so one day we were out there and I taped like a Coke can to the bottom of his fender. Uh -huh. So that way he could, Reference. he could like, well, I knew I was like, dude, if I put a Coke can there like two inches, you'll scrape the Coke can. I was like, just to give you an idea how far away you are. We might have to do that for you. I but, don't know, I feel like I might be able to scrape Fendi. No, not like, there's, I have had some some scary moments. We're like, yeah. whoa! So. All right, so maybe we'll have to find a fender for him so we can do that. But hey, the ST, it's been a while. It says paint tins. 3-1-23, does that, did we think? We would be done. Did we think then. that we were getting the tins back 3-1? Yes. Okay, it's still possible. It, it's still possible. So I, I did so. get, yeah, no, I got off the phone with Chris over at Airtrix, kind of finalizing exactly the paint job. So that doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound good, right? Like where he's still sending back drawings and I'm deciding like. Yeah, and this is in like two weeks. But what he did send me is the base coat is laid on the tins and he does have some drawings. Santa Barbara ride is always an awesome ride. So let's ride up to Santa Barbara. We'll go find somewhere to have lunch up there. We'll go check out the tins. Maybe we'll run by the Harley dealership. I want to get a fork seal for the DX. I just want to do both. Because the DX is leaking from Juan's slap downs on it. it. We'll grab a couple things. We want to get some passenger pegs for this. We'll look in to see if Harley still sells the long fender for the Dyna. Full day, we're gonna be riding up the coast, basically to Santa Barbara and back. Harley dealership's on the way, Airtrix is on the way. Maybe we can run by like Cold Springs Tavern. I think it's only open like on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, it's an old stagecoach in the mountains, but they are open because it's Friday. Let's go check that out. A little colder today, so I'm gonna grab a jacket. Uh, we just dropped the, the highway denim. We just dropped this and they come with the pads, but I personally don't like rocking the pads, but the nice thing is they're removable. Kevlar line, so it is still gonna be abrasion resistant. This is this? Elbow. For some of you that like to wear pads, want the extra protection, I don't blame you. Kevlar with the DuPont. Adjustable sleeve cuffs, heavyweight denim, double YKK zips. Snap cover over the zip. Stop the wind from coming in. We're ready to go, baby. I'm nervous to tear into this thing. I'm scared to take it apart because as you guys saw in one of the previous vlogs, we're gonna be moving shop and that's gonna be happening in the next couple weeks. And this shop's already a mess. We already don't even know what bolts are gonna put the tins back on. Now, I came back and organized everything and kinda of have an idea. But I'm a little worried to like disassemble this thing in this shop, knowing that we're gonna be moving to a new shop. And it's like kinda of giving me a little bit of a headache. That's scary. Um, I did schedule a, a cam chest kit with fueling. We are gonna go there in a couple weeks. We're gonna, we're gonna build the motor up a little bit, give it a little bit more pep in its step, even though it's already pretty fast. I do think the wheel color is gonna have to change. Pull the wheels off get them powder coated or chromed or whatever we end up deciding after we go look at how far the tins are and what direction it's really gonna go. Just wanted to give you guys that update on this. Also, we are still waiting for the soft tail brake arm billet piece. We'll reach out to him and see where that's at. Wait, can I just write this? 
Yeah, if you can figure out how to get gas. I'll put gas in my backpack. <laughs> yeah. Juan's riding the Dyna, and I haven't ridden my bagger in a while, so I really want to ride the bagger. And like we said, testing out the new shifter tip. Let's get this show on the road. I, when was the last time I rode this? Arizona. No, you rode the ST. ST. Yeah, it was it's like Sturgis. Sturgis. In the 40s. I think 42 is what this thing needs. Needs and it looks right about 42. All right. And Get this back. bike does have the um, has the sensors in the wheels. Oh, it'll tell it'll you. tell me on my on my thing. But like at least I don't want to get down the road and have it. Yeah. Beep, low PSI. You oh, know where my bike has the sensors? <sighs> uh. On my seat because I can feel it when I'm riding. And we're fine. Has this been gauge been calibrated? Bro, it's Blue Point Snap On's step brother. Are they gonna start? Oh, It's already yelling at me. What's up? Low tire pressure. Details. Does it tell you the PSI? Yeah. 35 and 35. Well, I took a little longer. Yeah. I just checked my oil, made sure that was good. Does it have so oil? Sh it has oil. I, right. That's why I shut the bike off. But I. It already, I didn't even have to ride it, and it already had the PSI of the wheels. Damn. 43, 42. Pretty sick. Yeah. CBO. And I haven't even had to ride it, so it has like live PSI checking. Trouble is on your bike. I got nothing. Oh, I pressed 87. Oh, <laughs> homie. Yeah, boy. No, I'm not gonna fill 87, but. Cancel. <laughs> what the heck? Why are you run 87? I know, bro. Gives you extra pep. Oh god, what, what's that hand movement, dude? Oh, here, here goes daddy. Last time when we went to Arizona and Luke handed me the pump first, I thought he was being nice. He's like, nah, we're just gonna put the shitty gas in your bike and then once it's flowing with 91, I'll fill my bike up. Jerk. Oh, bro! What happened? what happened? Bro, you spilled it! Dude! I didn't see that. Look at the gas all over my tank, bro. You're killing me. We're gonna hit the 101 along the coast up to Cold Springs Tavern.
the springs off, my wrist is like on fire. Or my forearm is like burning. Uh-oh, his wheelie setups causing some trouble on a little bit longer ride. What we're talking about is he's got an extra spring on his throttle body so that, cause he was worried that his throttle might stick. So he like made the spring tension gnarly. I love this spot. I like that you were just like, oh, there's like water flowing. Water's flowing right now. 1861-1901, Wells Fargo. Stagecoaches from Matea's Tavern could stop at Cold Springs Tavern for the noonday meal. So this place has been here since 1861. It was like mid to high 60s when we 60s left. 60s when we left our shop. And then once we dropped the grade into like, into this part of town, like past Santa Barbara, I don't know what we would call this. Um, but once we 50s. dropped down low here, 50s. it was in the low 50s. And it felt like 40s to turn off your partner. So on the weekends, there's like a little barbecue going outside. There's a band and like, this is more of like the bar hangout. So that one's more oh, like a bar. A bar. Yeah. Okay. And then this one's the restaurant spot. Wait till we get in there, dude. <laughs> so it's been cooking since 1865. Cold <laughs> Springs Bar, brother. So every time we want to get you know, what do we got, dude? The fire was going over there. 1886. Look at this one. Gang house to house the Chinese road gang who built the toll road through the San Marcos Pass. Thank you so much. Going in a boat. Oh, snap. It's been a haven for hungry travelers since the 1800s. We're hungry travelers. I don't know, I feel like French dip. Something that we haven't talked about that we haven't told them yet. We booked flights to Daytona for bike week. We're gonna, we're gonna be out there between March 6th through the night. We're gonna have bikes waiting for us there. We're gonna fly in, hang out for two, three days. Check out the scene, check out the vibe. I've been there before. I've never been there, it's gonna be my first time. Juan's first time. Yeah, so two weeks, we'll be there at Daytona Bike Week. If you guys are gonna be there, let us know and come find us, because we'll be rolling around. We'll probably be like out this, the night of the six and rolling around seven, eight. I don't know about how much cool riding there is, and if there is cool riding, let us know. Yeah. I honestly don't know how much cool riding there is. From what I remember, it was just like that Florida vibe. You see a little bit more of that you know Florida style bike. Probably run into the East Coasting guys. They'll probably pick us up, take us around. I know they've been going there for years, so we're gonna get involved and we'll see if we can get one to have tequila shots. Or, um, all right, homie. Okay, the barbecue, look at that. Look how juicy that is. Fries, onion rings. Pick this up. Homie, there's so much tri tip in it. Yeah. Amazing, dude. 
one of these onion rings, dip it in their house made ranch. <laughs> What do you think, Juan? Yeah, it's really tasty. It's, uh, I know I've been here before once, I just don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> Look, it's a Friday and there's a, quite a bit of people here. But on the weekends, there's live music, even more people, way more bikes out front. If you're ever in the area, stop by Cold Springs Tavern or Cold Springs Bar. I'm not gonna lie, after that um, huge tri-tip sandwich that I had, I kinda need a coffee and to chill out. But we told Chris we were gonna be to his shop by two o'clock. Which is in 20 minutes. Let's stand by our word, let's show up on time. 15 to 20 minutes is all I could ride in this weather right now because it is chilly. I'm freezing. I have three sweaters on. <laughs> Just showed up to Air Tricks. It was only like a 15 minute ride from Cold Springs Tavern, but the tins have the first coat on them. We just wanted to do something today, check them out, see where they're at. And he does have a couple more renderings of the bike that we can check out and kind of see. Don't say any colors yet, because we're going to still sneak peek them. So you want to offset? Yeah, right I think. Side, right side, more? You can maybe go a little more. Painter Lance is at it again. If, that, if that's 50, or going over a little bit. No, oh, that's oh, you. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Lay that down. All right, let's see. So if that's 50, I feel like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, Shy, we would have left the tires on it and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Painted it on the tins on the bike. Like, I feel like. You're not Brazilian waxing it, bro. You could feel the tape slow. That looks like my Mustang paint. Yeah, it is. It's really Yeah. <laughs> that looks sick. You wanted a bright red. Candy over that? Yeah. Yeah, this will be good. With that big tail light and the seat. Yeah, see, there, so you're saying there's one of the- pew, 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 pew. Where is the section? What's, what's up with the sneak peek? Sneak peek, not set in stone yet, but. We got the. All right, that's enough. We got a little direction on the ST and hopefully he said, Two to, he said two weeks, it should be done. It's gonna be spraying a lot in the next two weeks and hopefully we'll be back here to pick it up. Maybe we'll grab some coffee. All right, let's go get coffee. Yeah. Thanks, brother. Yeah, good seeing you. Likewise. Same thing, at, oh no, last time. Well, it's three o'clock and every coffee shop on the street closes at three. So, so we're great. out of luck. Got a little idea on the last leg to get home. It's gonna be a surprise. Give you one tank to fill, and you're you got. If you guys can't see that on TV, this will roached his tank. It's all down his tank there, all there. You're a hopeless. Go 
want to try this one. Hey! Taco time, baby! We cannot go this day of riding without one of those. Looks I don't know, it looks a little rough. I think it's gotta get cooking, dude. Looks a little raw right now. You guys have an extra cerveza? My man! Yeah. Look at that. Hey, Juan Dog. It's Friday, homie. There you go, brother. <laughs> Double fist scene right here. Cheers to a good ride. I need to soup them up. Thank you. Just a little onion. Oh. Okay. Okay. Full salon, full complaint, dude. Look at that, bro. This is what I've been looking for the last couple Better weeks. Better than the last spot? Yeah. Than the lunch trick spot? Yeah. I like the dryness, but the spiciness and the flavor. How's it going? All right, guys, so there you have it. So a 200 mile day. We got to go check out what was going on at Air Tricks One. What do you think, bro? Honestly, you know, at first I wasn't like too sure of the direction that we were going in with the bike, with the colors and stuff. But after going there today and seeing the renderings and talking to Chris and stuff, like I'm pretty stoked on how it's coming out and I'm fired up to uh, get it put together and see the final product. Yeah, I definitely am inspired. The direction we, we got it going towards today as well. Yeah. Like my imagination and, and the back and forth we've been having, and I know you kept going like, I don't know. And he was making me second guess myself, but I think we nailed it down and we got it to where it needs to be. So I'm really stoked on that. And I think that gives us a really good direction on the wheel color we're gonna do and kind of how we're gonna finish this bike off. Now we got all of this going on with the building move, also everything, the day-to-day -day business. And we're kind of worried to take this bike apart in this warehouse when we might have to move while the bike's apart. Yeah. So we're gonna try to figure that out. The tins should be done in March sometime. Time. We might have enough time to take the wheels off and get them done right here. And then we still have the soft tail brake arm and a couple other rad pieces that we're gonna put together for this bike. So stay tuned. We will keep you guys in the loop. Thanks for cruising along for the ride and we'll see you guys in the next one. See you later. <laughs>